the need for public education in America has been recognized by leaders since the original colonies were formed. In fact, early systems of public education date back to the Puritans. Over time, various obstacles stood in the way of a public education system for all citizens. The principal barrier was an agreed-upon system to finance the establishment and operation of public education. Western expansion policies of the United States offered an opportunity to build upon public education efforts that had already begun. The Morrill Act of 1862, sponsored by Senator Justin Morrill of Vermont, was an act donating public lands to the several states and territories which may provide colleges for the benefit of agriculture and mechanic arts. The Morrill Act of 1862 marked the first federal aid to higher education. Much of the land used for the Morrill Act of 1862 had been and would continue to be ceded from treaties, agreements, and seizure from Native Americans. Often tribes were effectively forced to sign treaties ceding land because of their living conditions or threat of violence. These newly acquired public lands were surveyed into six mile square townships and a one square mile section in each township was reserved for the support of public schools. The land itself was rarely used for school construction but rather was sold off with proceeds used to fund school programs. The system invited misuse by opportunists and substantial portions of the educational land grants never benefited education. Nevertheless, land grant support became a substantial factor in providing education to most American children who could never hope to attend private or charity supported schools. The Morrill Act committed the federal government to grant each state 30,000 acres of public land issued in the form of land script certificates for each of its representatives and senators in Congress. These land scripts could be sold in various ways and the proceeds could be allocated for public colleges. The United States land grants grew to an allocation of over 100 million acres. The Morrill Land Grants laid the foundation for a national system of state colleges and universities. In some cases, the land sales financed existing institutions. In others, new schools were chartered by the states. Major universities such as the University of Arkansas, Ohio State, MIT, Penn State, Clemson, Cornell, and the University of California were chartered as land-grant schools. People of color were often excluded from the educational opportunities provided in the Morrill Act of 1862 due to their race. The second Morrill Act of 1890 aimed at the former Confederate states sought to rectify this discrimination. The Second Morrill Act of 1890 required states to establish separate land-grant institutions for black students or demonstrate that admission was not restricted by race. The act granted money instead of land and resulted in the establishment or benefit of several historically black universities and colleges, including Branch Normal College, now the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, Alabama A&M, Prairie View A&M University, and Tuskegee University.